Today's video, we're gonna go over the Mitel Connect web portal. This is where you can get in and see some of the statistics for your phone as an end user. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going over the Mitel Connect web portal for the cloud product. This is where you can get in and you can see some statistics for you as an end user, what your phone is doing, and a few other things about the organization. So we're going to jump in my computer right now and I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Here we go. All right, everybody, welcome back inside my computer. Today we are going over the end user portal for the Mitel Cloud Connect system. So I've already went ahead and logged in and uh, the URL to get to this is portal.shortelsky.com. I'll go ahead and put this across the screen as well as add a link down in the description. So this is where you can log in any user for the phone system. If you have your um, login information, you can log in here. If you do not have your password, uh, you can actually reset your own password and I will link uh, right here to a video that I've done on how to do that. So basically what we're doing here is looking at the end user side of what you can see as a end user and not as an administrator. So there's administrator training for this um, that is specific to that. But as an end user, what we're gonna do is go over here. You got your logo up here, help, Mitel ideas and announcements. So all three of these will go to the Mitel One View portal. So this is where you can go in and see all of Mitel's official knowledge base, official announcements, as well as make recommendations for the phone system. So that's what Mitel Ideas is. But these all live back in the Mitel One View system. So basically what we're seeing here on the front screen is your phone's analytics. So what you can see is this is your live answer. You can go down here, you can select how much time I spent on the phone. You can also see the um, basically the ratio of inbound to outbound to internal calls. And again, this is just for your phone. You can go in and you can determine what type of uh, like reporting you want month to date quarter to date you can also put in custom amounts so this will allow you to see hey how long have i been on the phone uh, items like that over here on the right line buttons these are the eight buttons that show up on your phone if you have an ip 480 or a 485 if you have the ip 420 phone though however that even if anything shows here it's not going to show on your phone so right below this is your emergency location we'll get into how to update this later but just know that whatever address this is when you dial 911 from your VoIP phone, this is the address that it's going to send. So it's important that you keep this up to date. And uh, as you move your phone to say you bring it home, that you update this location, or at the very least understand that when you dial 911 from it, it will send the address of your um, whatever's here. So, all right, below that phone settings, these are basically just shortcuts into the phone system. So we're gonna, go in the, the long way, but uh, if you want to shortcut into your voicemail or your call routing systems, um, this will show up to, uh, with different options depending on what you have installed on your system. So we're going to go ahead and just hover over home. And over home, this is going to give us most of our options that we can do with the phone. Uh, we'll go over support too. So the support center, this is good to get in and uh, access again that one view. But this top one here is important, the trust site. So the trust site, when you click this, it pulls up a live view of the system's operations. So if you think that there is a problem with your phone, you can uh, go into here and hit view details and it'll actually pull up and tell you the phone system, the carriers, the IP networks, what's working, what's not working from their point of view. So it's uh, helpful for troubleshooting. All right, so that support. Everything else goes back to one base or um, on my uh... All right, everything else in support goes back to the one view um, portal. So the Mitel ideas, the knowledge base as well as training. So if you want to dig into the Mitel official training, you can select this and it would go to it. Um, all right, so back to home. If you go to home, you got a couple different options under contacts. So personal contacts, as the name implies, these are contacts that are loaded only on your phone. So if you wanna add somebody, all you need to do is click add 
and you can put in their information in here. Now this will synchronize with your phone, but nobody else's. Uh, add a group, you can group your individuals. So you can see right here, there's contacts, favorites, and monitor list. Those are groups. Um, if you were to create your own, uh, then it would show up in there very similar. You can also import or export your uh, contacts. So those are the tabs that you would use. They use a standard CSV file. All right, and now we are inside the company phone book. So the company phone book is basically an organizational wide phone book that can only be changed by an administrator. So you as an end user, you can see the people in the company phone book and you can export this list. Say you wanted to import it into maybe your Outlook or something similar. You can view this, but you cannot make any changes. Only administrators are allowed to. So um, this one is pretty, pretty straightforward. After this, we get in over here, we got calls. You can do a call log. All right, and now we're inside the call log. So the call log is basically a list of inbound and outbound calls that are made from your phone. So you can see different information as far as date and time, the duration, the number that they called either in or out, the originating number, the dialed number, and also whether this was internal. All right, and now we are in phone settings. So the phone settings is where you can change things about the actual physical phone on your desk. So this first tab, phone, is you're gonna have your identification information. I don't recommend changing anything in here. Most of this is locked down, um, but it will let you know what your outbound caller ID is and what your extension is. Uh, below this, your privacy. This is set by the administrator, so you can see what you can do, but you can't actually change anything. Change your phone pin. This is your voicemail password, so if you'd like to change your voicemail password, you can actually select this, and it's going to ask you to put in your current one and um, put in your new one. You can change your time format um, from a.m. p.m. to 24 hours if you would like. Below this, your features, so your call waiting beep. This is the tone that plays when you're on a call and you get another call coming in. Video conferencing, if you have a phone that's available for it, you can enable that. Uh, your user group and shared call appearance are gonna be set by your administrator. Your wallpaper is only applicable if you have an IP485 and then you can change it. The ringtone, you can change your ringtone just by selecting this. The delayed ring down is another administrator feature, as well as these ones down below here. So we we'll go from there and go into voicemail. So the voicemail in here, what this does, notification is basically an email notification of, of um, messages left. So if I click this, it will send me a notification email um, every time I get a voicemail, or it can send a email notification with an attached file below here. You can also forward all of your messages. So if you're going on vacation and you want to forward your WAV file, you can forward this to another extension. You can accept broadcast messages, which is turned off by default, and you can play the envelope information. All right, and now we're going to get into call routing. So call routing is basically your availability state. That's another term that's used inside of the phone system. So you can get in here and you can change what happens to your phones when you're available in a meeting, out of office, on vacation, custom, or in your do not disturb. So do not disturb basically just means I can either leave a voicemail or not. So that's availability routing. All right, and now power routing rules. So create a new power rule. So what power rules are, are basically if-then statements. So if what it's saying is if this condition is met, then do this. So if a number matches, so I could do that, say a sales guy calls all the time, I can put his number in here and say always forward it to voicemail. There's also different options in here that you can choose. All right, so we're gonna get into program buttons now. So program buttons is what actually programs the buttons on your phone. Uh, so on the IP480 and the 485 models, you can do this. Uh, both of these, you can do the IP phones section. On the 485, if you have a button box installed, you can actually program these as well. So we're gonna focus on this because the concept is the same for all the button boxes. But the IP phones, if you wanna change these, so just know that there's 12 displayed here, but there actually are only eight buttons on the 480 and 485. So you can only program these first eight. Number one is your top right button. 
the number two is the one that's just below that so your second to the top right button and so number five is your top left button so just so you know when you're kind of planning that out that that's how that is set up so if we want to change any of these all we do is highlight it and then over here we can actually choose what we want to do with this button and we can add labels so it can say what we would like it to I'm going to put a link to a document that actually shows what all of these options are so you can pick the best one for you. All right, after that we go into emergency location. So this is where you can change the E911 address. So if you are in a new location, say you take the phone home and you're working from home, you want to make sure that you update this address so that when you call 911 from the phone, that it actually sends the address for your current location and not your office location. So you need to get in and change this or when you call any type of emergency services, it's going to send the incorrect address. So it is important that you uh, keep your eye on this. So that is emergency locations. All right, and now we're gonna get into the add-on features. So the add-on features when you open this is going to show differently depending on which features you actually have enabled on your phone system. So items that could be on there are mobility, the cloud collaboration tool, um, Scribe could be on there. So those are just different tools that could be in there. So it, it, when you open this, it may be different, but all of these will allow you to manage that specific um, instance. So for example, this one, I have my personal conference bridge. It gives me the information and I can join the URL if I'd like. I can also go in and actually change the settings. So add on features, this is where you would go in. After that, we'll get in and show the personal information. So the personal information is basically all of the information that the system has about you and does display in the directory. It is important to note that if you do decide to add something here, like a mobile phone number or your home telephone number, that it does become searchable by anybody inside of the organization. So they can see you and they can view that number. You can also go in here and change your password for the portal and your software. So this is another location that you can do that. You can also see roles and permissions. So for most end users, you're not going to see anything in here. But if you do happen to be a decision maker or an emergency contact or a technical contact, then that information will be displayed here. All right. And that pretty much covers the Mytel Connect cloud web portal. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you do find videos like this helpful, we recommend that you subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of training videos on telephone systems as well as IT and other technologies. We also do technology reviews for appropriate technologies for businesses. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and until next time, have a great day.